Hello and welcome to the launch of today's Encourage Shoal test mission where today we are going to be launching the Shoal on its newly developed booster prototype. Now today the aim of the mission is literally just to get to orbit. The booster is designed to return back to the surface but today it won't be returning, it will be staying in orbit. This will be all one stage to orbit. We won't be lighting the engines on the shuttle today. That won't be necessary until later on in the launch phase where the weight is going to be massively reduced. And we'll need that extra boost to even out the thrust. So T minus 30 seconds here now and we are going to be go to light the three main engines on the booster. Minus 20 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one ignition and lift off. Shuttle Encourage has left the pad for its first test mission to orbit. So we've got some few a few onboard cameras here, one of the main tank looking down at the shuttle. We also have a wing camera and we also have a tail camera monitor that them engines on the shore once they reach light in in the upper atmosphere. Now we're gonna be starting our gravity turn here. Point where the shuttle will be experiencing the most aerodynamic stress. So we're coming up on 10 kilometers, a speed of around 500 meters per second. Continuing our climb. Once we get to a high enough altitude, we'll have Miko, which will cut the main engines of the booster for relighting after a slight post session. Coming up on 30 kilometers now. There should be a lot of strain under this shuttle at this point with aerodynamic stress. few seconds we will have Mako. There we go and now the shuttle will coast for a slight slight distance there. We're getting some readings back seeing everything's looking good so far. All systems are nominal. So we should be go for relight in a few seconds here. This is going to get the shuttle into an, a solid orbit. But it's going to be lighting the main engines on the shuttle itself as well as, as the three booster engines. This will help even out the shuttle and the booster. Like I say the booster will remain in orbit for now but we'll come back for another live stream another day where it will return back to the surface hopefully for a soft landing in the ocean. One main engine start, nominal. You can see the reaction control thrusters working hard there as they've activated now. This just keeps the vehicle stable as it continues its burn. The more
more the vehicle burns, the more unstable it gets because of the weight distribution. Seconds here will be going to make or two. Hopefully, we'll achieve good orbit. And there we have it, make or two. You can see the reaction controllers trying to even out that. engine roll. Now we'll be going for encourage set. And there we go, we have positive separation. Now encourage is in free drift from the booster. Encourage is now programmed to start the roll to just to inspect the outer surface of the shuttle. And also make sure the reaction control thrusters are working properly while still in the main booster camera. There we go, the roll has started. The carriage now is in a quite a high orbit. This is so it test a lot of systems without being in the way of anything. There we go. So this is going to conclude at the end of our testing today. Hope everyone enjoyed this test. Thankfully everything went nominal. Today was a good test. We will be back to test the booster and also the shuttle in later dates. We will continue to orbit round for a few days just running some tests on systems and sensors and making sure everything's working okay so we'll end the podcast here thank you very much for joining and we'll see you in the next one